Obesity prevention, three foods that every woman over 40 years old needs to know about. Hi, if you're new to this channel, I'm Dr. K or Dr. Kareem Samori, and I'm here to help you optimize your health so you can reach your full genetic potential. Let's get started. Food number one, tomatoes. This is a highly acidic food. The same goes for lemon and, or too much lemon and lime, and the same goes for like oranges if you're eating a ton of them as well. Because unless you're an ectomorph, and this is important, if you don't know your body type yet, go to my profile link or tiktokdrk.com and choose Health Puzzle. It's free, find out your body type. It's quite the opposite situation for a mesomorph who already produces a lot of stomach acid. You don't wanna be having tomatoes a bunch if you're already acidic. That's where the alkaline diet comes into play versus for the ectomorph, it's much more sensible to have additional acid help break down food and that's where the citrus foods come in so make sure you know your body type the second food that we're gonna be talking about today is bone broth bone broth I would choose over a protein shake any day of the week the reason is bone broth is super rich in fats and protein the fats help satiate or keep you full so you don't have the cravings and you don't feel like you have to reach for the next meal right away and also because of how much protein content it has it's great for raising your overall muscle mass and therefore your metabolism it's wonderful for skin and hair health as well so bone broth is one to definitely add to your list and it's easy to make all right so you take a bone broth container you add a bunch of bones and some water you let it cook overnight on a very low heat and you can add spices to your taste from there but it's actually that simple drain the bones off and you're left with something that should have like a thick layer on top and that oil that fat is amazing for you and your body and it's rich in collagen and everything else all right let's get to food number three and that's garlic this is a food that I want to make sure to put in caution eat in balance when it comes to garlic garlic is very highly antioxidative so what it does it has a a tremendous benefit for fighting free radical damage. Free radical damage is the stuff that leads to cancer, right? So when cells mutate and then they reproduce, that's cancer essentially, right? A different, a specific form of that in a specific organ or tissue. Now, we wanna fight free radical damage by eating a lot of antioxidants in our diet and garlic is one of the best ways to do that. However, oh, and it's also great for reducing inflammation. So if you suffer from joint pain or muscle pain, again, garlic can be really great, but you don't wanna overdo it. And the reason you don't wanna overdo it with garlic is because it can be really hard on your heart, liver, or kidney. Just like anything else, you have to eat in moderation. I sure hope you find this video helpful. If you haven't followed me yet, please go to drktiktok.com. That's drktiktok.com. I love you, God bless you, have a beautiful day.